Hello everyone and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today we're going to talk about the assign class algorithm. The assign class algorithm is actually the algorithm for knowledge based classification. So if you want to classify your image objects based on your expert knowledge, for example, a tree is defined as higher than three meters, then go for the assign class because you can use thresholds and features in combination and use your expert knowledge. And this is a simple classification algorithm which allows you to assign a class based on conditions. For example, you can use the brightness and uh, telecognition classify this object as class A if the brightness is greater than 200, something like that. So it assigns a class to an image object with certain features. You can define those features and using threshold values. And it's pretty simple to set up. So you add a new process to the process tree, select the assign class algorithm from the algorithm list. And then in the condition box in the domain, you can define conditions. You have value one, which is the feature that you want to use. Then you have the field operator, which is the comparison operator uh, equal to less or greater than and so on. And then the value two is the feature value. And then on the right hand side in the algorithm uh, parameter pane, you simply select the class you want to classify into. And then eCognition checks what you have to find in the domain. If this is true, it's gonna classify the object into the class you have to find in the parameter section on the right. And for the conditions, you actually can use AND or OR combinations. You can become fairly complex and you also can combine multiple threshold definitions. Um, so you could say it has to be brighter than 200, but the area smaller than 10 pixels and so on. Let's have a look at an example in eCognition developer. So you're going to find this project file in the data folder assign class project, simply drag and drop the DPR file into eCognition developer and it should look something like this. So what we see is a Sentinel-1 composite of actually three years. So red indicates the year 2019, green 2018 and blue 2017. Let's zoom in and we see actually here the ships on black background, which is the ocean. So that's water and we see ships. And now I simply want to use a sign class to classify the ships. And I want to classify, you see the classes here into blue ships, green ships and red ships. So let's try to do so. The setup here is simply creating image objects that are delineating the ships more or less, right? I'm using the multi threshold segmentation several times here. And that should give us nice objects to work with. Okay, execute this one. And um, now we have objects. We also have fairly small objects here, but I, I didn't care, I just want to have objects. I'm gonna change the outline color to yellow. And you see actually that these ships somehow, if they have different colors, they're nicely delineated. Um, and landmass here also is one large object and the black background, the water as well. So let's try to classify the red ships first. How could you proceed? Again, we are using the assign class algorithm now. So I'm gonna add a new process to the process tree. I'm gonna look for assign class. And as mentioned before in the theory section, um, what you define here is where the algorithm is applied on to. So you define here the conditions and the class filters as well. That's possible. Um, so the domain settings are very important for this algorithm. And then equation looks into the domain and if it finds objects that fulfill all the criteria that you have defined here, it's gonna classify it into this class that you define here. So let's first have a look at the condition. So again, we're using thresholds. If you click the three dots here in the condition tab, you can define conditions. 
value one is it's going to be the feature so i'm going to click here from feature and because i want to classify red objects i'm going to use uh, ratio the red ratio and we have to create that feature first so i'm going to go on the object features image layer and ratio down here create new ratio if you double click it you can select the layer that you want to compute the ratio for but actually i want to use all of uh, them so i want to create a ratio for all the layers that i have so you simply can right click on it and choose create for all layers and that's going to create the ratio for all layers in my case i'm gonna choose red um operator if the ratio is greater than something then zero classified into the class i have to find out what threshold i'm gonna use so i'm quickly gonna click ok here i'm also gonna change the algorithm parameters here that's the class you want to classify into so if these criteria are fulfilled and the domain is gonna classify the object into that class that you define here I don't execute it yet because I didn't change the threshold. It's set to zero currently. That would classify probably a lot. I'm clicking OK and let's find out the value for my red ships. Okay, so now what you see in the image object information window is the ratio of the selected object, this one here. And that's a red object and you see the ratio of red is very high which means the ratio of the influence of the red band compared to the other input bands if i click on a blue object that should have a high ratio in blue because it looks blue the ratio of the blue has to be higher okay black is gonna be more or less equally distributed and also for white uh, it should be almost the same, right? And that's why it appears white. Green, again, just to check it, has a high value in the ratio green. And it's very high. It's above 0 0.9 for those and also for the red ones. Um, so I'm simply going to use a threshold of 0 0.9. I opened the process, simply double-clicked on it, and now I'm going to change the value to, to 0 0.9. So if the ratio red is greater than 0 0.9 in all the objects that are there in our new level that's the level we created class filter is none then classified as red ships execute did something happen um i'm just um gonna go for grayscale here and now i'm gonna display my image objects and you see some objects are now red and those correspond to the objects that have a high red ratio Now you only see the, the objects that are classified as red ships. Okay, so what I see is we also have very small ships. Let's have a look how small they are and then try to kick them somehow out. Let's assume we are only interested in the big ships, okay? So let's display the area of the selected objects in the image object information window. Object features geometry extent area. Double click it and it pops up here. Now the extent is displayed in pixels. Uh, that doesn't ring a bell for me. I don't know the resolution currently. Uh, and what is a pixel? Ah, whatever. So you can change the unit if you right click on it. Edit unit. And for me, I like square meters. Okay. So this one is 55 square meters. This one is 894. So let's also add a second condition to this algorithm. And uh, let's simply open it, double click, go into the condition. And if you click add new, it's gonna add a new condition. And the type here is and, so it has to fulfill both conditions. First one is ratio red and second gonna be the area. Um, again, geometry extent area and now it also displays it here in square meters because i changed the unit down here let's say a ship has to be of a certain size let's go for 350 square meters that's just a made up number okay um clicking okay here let's also display the number of ships here in the image object information window so we know or see what's changing 
number of classify. Right click, create for all classes and select those. There we go. So currently 16,224. I am gonna delete the classification and rerun this assign class now having two conditions. And now we end up with 201. See, we kicked out all the small ships. That was uh, actually a bit too much, I guess. So let's decrease the area, maybe to 200 square meters. And we don't have to delete the classification prior because we are now including more objects that can be classified. Execute, now we have 461. Okay, still let's even decrease it to 150. Okay, so that depends on your definition or whatever you want. But uh, what I want to show you here is that you can combine different conditions. Okay, let's also aim for green and blue ships. Um, you simply can use copy and paste, control C, control V. What I'm gonna do or what you have to do is change the condition feature ratio red to ratio blue for example for the blue ships and change the class here to blue and copy and paste okay so let's have a quick check of our result so on top you see the classified objects and again we didn't classify the very small ones good so uh, I'm quickly going to show you that you also can become fairly creative here. So you also can create subconditions and change it from AND to OR. Um, so either it fulfills this one or this one, then it's going to be classified. Um, so you can become creative here and aim for the correct settings that classify what you want. So pretty straightforward, this knowledge based classification using your expert knowledge, defining a feature, defining a threshold and a comparison, and then you can classify your image objects. Okay, so that's all I want to show. Have a look at this project. You can decrease the size. I'm quickly going to do this here. And then you see we're going to have more boats. So yeah, that depends on what you want to do. Thank you very much for watching and here next time.